One of the reasons I'm in Hamilton is because of Dr. Yusuf's pioneering work in clinical trials, which has led to the development of many of the cardiovascular medications we currently use. He then used this knowledge for population research uh, at the global level. Dr. Yusuf asks the big scientific questions and answers them with large, simple clinical trials and studies. His collaborative approach is what uh, inspires me to work with him. Salam Yusuf was born and raised in a small village in southern India. I can remember a very happy childhood. I went to university in Bangalore to St. John's Medical College. I applied for a Rhodes Scholarship and received it. And that took me to Oxford. I came under the influence of two absolutely superb mentors, Professor Peter Slight and Sir Richard Pito. And then Rory Collins joined our group. The four of us collectively developed the concepts of what are known as meta-analysis today. The concept of meta-analysis, uh, which is the combining of the results of multiple studies of similar design to increase the numbers to get a more reliable result and the concept of doing very large international studies at low cost, what's called large simple trials. And they realised much larger studies, tenfold larger studies were required to answer the questions properly. So then both of these concepts are now widely accepted and adopted. So that was a, a very, very important um, both clinical epidemiologic and clinical trials concept. I had a great opportunity in setting up the world's first major research program in heart failure called SOLVED, or Studies of Left Ventricular Dysfunction. That was a moment where I could actually establish my own mark. When I think about the, the SOLVED study, um, looking at uh, ACE inhibitor therapy in a different cir circumstance and demonstrating the benefits, that was not predicted by other people uh, and it, it really reflected his imagination uh, as well as his intellectual grasp. Salim has also carried out um, some pivotal uh, randomised trials that have made a huge difference to clinical practice. Uh, he showed that ACE inhibitors, ACE inhibitors are antihypertensive drugs, uh, save lives in people with severe heart failure and actually also people with coronary disease who are stable. Uh, that was a, a very, very important concept and then uh, moved to Canada in McMaster in 1992 uh, as the head of cardiology here. I was 39 years and we now have uh, probably one of the most successful research groups in the world. Another area that he's got into is uh, epidemiology, uh, population health, and he and his group have performed three uh, huge studies. He's looking at what matters on a global scale, what matters in terms of the determinants of cardiovascular disease in different populations around the world. And we said if we can do a case control study in one centre, can we not do it in multiple centres in India? Then we said if we can do it in multiple centres in one country, can we do it in many countries? And he successfully shown that most causes of severe coronary heart disease are caused by reversible risk factors Nine simple risk factors seem to account for practically all the risk of heart attacks and the risk factors for heart attacks were more or less the same in different parts of the world. This really meant that we were on the verge of having global programs in prevention. Outstanding mentor, insightful clinical scientist and tireless builder of global healthcare capacity. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame Laureate, Dr. Salem Youssef.